Imagine you're in a crowded room with background noise, and you need to understand what your colleague is saying. This is called speech perception in noise, and it gets much harder as we get older, even when we have good hearing. For example, when my grandmother Jean was about 80, she started to get concerned about her hearing. So she went to the audiologist for a hearing test. Jean performed well on this test, but when we went out for lunch that afternoon at a busy restaurant, she had a really hard time understanding what I was saying. And this made Jean feel frustrated and confused. Many older adults have the exact same experience as Jean. They have good hearing, or their hearing has been corrected with hearing aids, but they struggle to understand speech in everyday noisy situations. Why? I believe that these older adults have a listening problem. Listening is crucial for understanding speech and noise, but listening well is very different from hearing well. Yes, listening requires a functioning auditory system, but listening also requires us to actively engage our cognitive system. If Jean's auditory system is working well, then maybe there's something going on with her cognitive system that's making listening difficult. For my research, younger and older adults come to the lab and complete a series of attention and memory tasks. This gives me an indication of an individual's cognitive abilities. Next, I measure how well these same people can understand speech in a noisy situation like the one on the screen here. Now, other researchers have focused on the auditory components of the situation, but my testing is an auditory and visual experience, so it's a lot more reflective of communication in real life. I found that younger adults are understanding more speech than older adults, but individuals performing better on those cognitive assessments seem to be understanding way more speech and noise than individuals whose cognitive abilities aren't as efficient. I've also found that in these situations with auditory and visual distraction, older adults benefit from seeing a talker's face just as much as younger adults do. With this information, I'm developing practical guidelines for communication with the elderly that will be useful for families, communities, and businesses. In 30 years, the number of older adults living in Australia will double. And if these people are going to be happy and healthy, then they need to be able to communicate in everyday noisy situations. So remember, we hear with our ears, but we listen and understand with our ears, our eyes, and our brain. Thank you.